Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Newcastle Football Manager Series, where we left off in the last episode. We had just sold Hosselu and Murphy on deadline day, and we are now moving into the final hours and trying to sign probably a striker. We need to bring in a under-21 specifically because we have way too many players and we just can't register them all. Are you guys looking to download the best football app? There are no better apps on the market than FOTMOB. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. It has all the latest news, fixtures, results, transfers. Honestly, this app is fantastic. It sends push notifications straight to your phone if you want them. Of all the latest information that you need about your club, just follow your favorite team, your favorite nationality, or national team, I should say, or maybe even your favorite league and you just want to keep up to date on everything football, it does it and it's completely free on iOS and Android. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video and let's crack on. We're still waiting to give Chancellor a work permit. Hopefully we can get that sorted on the 12th of August, I think it is. So in four days, we can go ahead and request a work permit. I've got a bad feeling it's going to be rejected and we would have spent 2.5 million on a wonder kid that can't even play. We would have to loan him out or whatever the case may be. So uh, we're, we're going to be finishing the window. We're then going into our next game, which is another Europa League qualifier. And then Watford at home, I believe it is, to start the Premier League season. Well, as usual, my scouts have done me an absolute solid here. Look at this, Dennis Dragus. I'm probably saying that name completely wrong, but my God, this could be an insane deal. He can play on the left as well. He's a, a fully natural left winger inside forward. Brilliant. But also an advanced forward fully natural. Look at those stats. This is the guy I want. We're looking at four to eight million. It's an absolute bargain and he will probably get into the team every now and again, especially when we have so many games. 10 goals in 36 appearances isn't a great return, but I tell you what, I reckon he'll be really good. I reckon he'll be really good. Another player I'm interested in is Eduard. Now, typically, I wouldn't be interested in a player this good because he kind of gets into the first team ahead of Jolington. But should I, should I be worried about something like that? Should it matter? I mean, I, I want to get into the top six and who knows crazily, but maybe even the top four with a player like this up front. I know how good this guy is in Football Manager. So I'm very tempted to make an offer and see what could happen. He gets into the team ahead of Jolington. But I wanted to keep Jolington in because it's Newcastle, right? That's who they've signed. But honestly, I, sh I should be doing this. The other player's great. The, the young Romanian guy that we were just looking at. But he is a backup. Why not go for it? I've got 20... Let's have a look. I've got 24.8 million. I can easily adjust this as well because we're currently spending 1.3 million per week out of 1.56. I mean, we can easily adjust this and get even more money. So... Let's do it. Let's try and get Eduard. We can easily afford it. And that will be an absolutely insane signing. And it would be our third signing as a striker. We brought in Ian Acho. We then brought in Jolington. And now we're looking at Eduard. But who cares? We're Newcastle. We might need a striker to really push ourselves up. So let's go ahead. Go into my scouting. My shortlist. Position. Strikers. Still got Maxi Gomez there. His value has gone right up with his uh, maximum price as well. Clearly, he's just signed a new contract. But anyway, Eduard is the player we're going for. Let's go ahead and make an offer here. Uh, up to 20... Was it 24 million they recommend? So I'm going to play it safe. I don't want to completely upset them. Let's put in a bit of 20 million. I kind of want to buy him just outright without any installments. But it might be that I need to add in something else. Let's suggest it. Uh, oh my god. That's ridiculous. They've accepted 20 million and they haven't even bothered trying to negotiate. Do you know what? Whatever. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not cheating. I'm not cancelling that and then trying again with 18. I'm doing 20 million. That's how much I wanted to offer. So here we go. Finalise the promise. There's no need to add anything in there. Uh, let's negotiate the contract. So we're looking at... Okay, let's ask him to make a recommendation. We'll keep that in. That's fine. Uh, we don't need that. There's no yearly wage rise. Um, I think... Hmm. 
Okay. I'm going to go... See, th this is so difficult because they're not willing to reveal his demands. They want me to make an offer first. And because this is the final signing, I don't have another chance. This will be it. I think it's worth overpaying if it means I get it across the line. So the estimated demands are in the 3.3 to 3.9 million area. We're looking at over 2 million as well for the agent fee. <sighs> Guys, I, I don't want to ruin this. I do not want to ruin this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to 70k there. Oh my god, those have gone up now as well, of course. Jeez. Okay, we can afford it. This is fine. This is fine. I'm going to go in with a signing on fee of 2.5 and an agent fee of 2. Suggest. Ooh, wow. <laughs> okay. That is expensive. We know what we're dealing with here. A very, very pushy agent. A player that thinks he's probably better than he actually is. But is he going to change our chances? He, he probably is. Okay, let's go ahead and offer him 90 thousand per week we'll go in with oh geez okay let's adjust this budget a bit more here do that uh 3.6 oh gosh okay let's change this as well the minimum fee release clause let's go 80 million uh do you know what you can, you can have all this that's fine as long as there's nothing crazy in there let's suggest that <laughs> I knew this would happen. I knew it. Damn it, man. That's a lot of money, and clearly it just wasn't to be. So I guess we go for the Romanian instead. And he will be a good player. It just means we're not going to get a first-team striker. We're going to get a backup striker. But that's, that's fine. It does feel a little bit underwhelming now, doesn't it? I don't need all of that. Oh, man. I still can't believe how much he really wanted there. I'm going to go in with 4 million, I think, to start off here. Let's see what they say. Suggest. Okay, 7 million plus a 30%. Okay, we'll take that down to 20%. And we'll go with a 5.5 million. And that's accepted. Okay, we'll finalise that. Let's get him instead. Well, I've got to say, this is a lot easier, isn't it? <laughs> it really helps when they, they give you what they want straight away. Um, I'm going to give him 30k, just because I can. Uh, I'm going to reduce this to 1 million. Yearly wage rise, remove that. In fact, I'll probably have to give him a little bit more then. We'll go 32 and a half. First team, we'll go rotation. Uh, four years, immediate. Yep, that's all good. That's fine, let's suggest that. Okay, it's promising. He really wants first team. Okay, and he really wants the yearly wage rise. Apparently, that would really help sign him on. Um... I don't want to give him that. He'll be upset about it, but I guess we'll, we'll just have to. We'll drop that to a million. Suggest. Okay, there we go. We'll finalise the deal. Let's just get him in. He really does have some incredible stats. And the fact that he's versatile and can play on the left as well, I think it's a, it's a no-brainer. Let's go ahead and accept the deal. 6.75 million. I mean, it's, it's nothing really. He's not a wonder kid or anything, but... You know, if I do pick up an injury to Ian Acho, maybe Jolington's tired after playing two games in a week. He's the kind of player that's going to come in and save me and get me a couple of goals when I need him. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got no players going out on loan. We might need a couple of the youngsters. You never know. But that, I think, rounds up the transfer window. I think we're done. Go ahead and take off Cornet from the transfer list. So we don't actually have the new striker into the squad just yet. But when he joins, we can have a proper look at the team and there we go he's in let's send him on a language course let's welcome him as well there we go and crystal palace want abraham on loan i hope i don't regret that if abraham ends up scoring against me when i play palace if he goes there or even if he gets you know like top five goal scorers this season i'm gonna be mad and there we go it is done oh wow delhi ali has gone to man city for 94 million pounds and titi to man united and Arsenal spent almost 80 million on Weigel. Wow, that's a, a lot of money. 1.8 billion was spent. That is it's absolute madness, isn't it? But it looks like we'll be, we will be going into our game now. Um, fitness tests, okay. Let's go into our tactics here. So there he is. He's unregistered at the moment. I need to go ahead and do the squad registration for all the competitions we're in. 
And then I guess the season really starts. The window is shut. There is no more changes being made to this squad. And let's go ahead and round up the transfer history here. So this is what we've done. A winger coming in, chance live for 2.5 million, still yet to get the work permit. We're almost there. Tanali in for 16 million, roughly. Nathan Ake for 46 and a half. Skov Olsen and Foden in on loan. And then Dennis Dragus for 5.5 million. And then leaving the club, we've got Fernandez, Keysung Young, Muto, Torre, Lazar, Aarons, Murphy, and Hosselu. And I think we've made, oh, I don't know, around 10 million, something stupid like that. So it's nothing incredible. We haven't done mind-blowing deals uh, in terms of selling players, but we've managed to sell quite a lot of the dead wood. And we've brought in quality players that are going to really, really help us, especially Nathan Ake. Very expensive, but him and Lachelle's are going to be great. We've managed to go ahead and get a 2-0 win away from home. Very late goals, though. It took us until the 73rd minute for Lachelle's to get the first goal of the game. And then Ian Acho sealed the deal on the 85th minute. I mean, look at our domination of this game. 61% of the ball as well. Masuaku got player of the match with just an 8.7, which is uh, quite rare. But uh, there you go, 2-0 away. And that means we go into the home fixture, heavy favourites to then qualify for the Europa League. But now, guys, it's time. The Premier League is starting, and I'm so excited to get some debuts in this team. Wow, okay, some big results on the first day of the Premier League season. Liverpool beating Man United. Arsenal with a 3-1 win there. Tottenham. Everton beating Bournemouth. Leicester winning 2-0 against West Ham. Are City going to beat Swansea? I'm pretty sure they will. Yeah, 4-0. So, uh, first games of the season underway. It's us up next. This is it, guys. Jolington is starting up front. Onyekuru, Ritchie on the wings. Almiron in the middle. Tanali makes his Premier League debut alongside Longstaff. We've got Yedlin, Lachelles, Ake, Masuaku, and of course, Dubravka in goal. A few new numbers as well. Dubravka is now number one. We've got Longstaff getting number 18 this season. Ake number four. Don't think I changed anyone else. Nope. But against Watford, we could not play Skov Olsen. He, of course, is on loan from Watford. Penny Randa, Dini, Pereira, Deo Lefeo. Hughes and Wanyama, big signing that. Messina, Chambers on loan. Lejeune, of course, ex-Newcastle. Dawson at right back and Dahlberg in goal. This is it, guys. The first game of the season, of course, we're going to go with a passionate... Uh, give, go out there and give the fans their money's worth. No reaction whatsoever. Okay, fair enough. But this is it, guys. I've been so excited to start this season. I know it's taken us a bit of time to get there, but we had a lot of work to do on the team. It is all done. Hopefully, our efforts have been worth it. And let's get off to a flying start. Please don't concede straight away. Um, what were you doing, Dubravka? He comes out and then decides, actually, you know what? Have a free shot. In comes the corner, though. And it's not a very good cross, but Wanyama's going to pick it up. Is he going to get the ball in? Oh, okay. We're going to pull him down and give away a free kick. We're literally two minutes into the game and we have not made a good start. But they didn't score from it, which is good. Matt Ritchie picked up a little bit of a knock there, apparently. But he's okay. I don't need to take him off. We're now 35 minutes in. No highlights for us yet. Oh, he's, he's done his ankle again. Should be able to play through. Okay, we'll leave it for now. Looks like we're going to go in at halftime, nil-nil. Honestly, what a boring game so far. They've been forced into a change. Wanyama picked up an injury there. Okay, I'm going to make a change because this is ridiculous. We're not getting anywhere here. Dragos is coming on on that left wing. We'll give him a go there. Foden can come on as well. Uh, we'll, we'll make two changes, not three. I just want to check. I have got highlights on, right? Yeah, key highlights. So... For some reason, there has not been a single highlight since that first two minutes. Literally nothing, even though we've had eight shots on target. Still nothing with ten minutes to go here. I don't know what's going on. Richie's going to have to come off. Maria can play on that side, so let's do that now. Let's go ahead and demand more here. This isn't real. Surely there's going to be a highlight. I've never finished a game with only one highlight. Oh, okay. It's going to be the, the very last moment of the game, of course. Is it going to be a goal, though? Come on, Jolington. Let's go. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ake's won it, though. Still got a chance here. Foden. Over to Masuaku. Oh. Oh, my God. It's a last-minute winner. 
and it's Sean Longstaff. Oh my, that is absolutely unreal. Unbelievable. Round of applause. Third goal of the season for him already. And it's quite literally going to be the last kick of the game. Masuaku, who's surprised that he gets the assist. Very lucky though. But what a strike. Oh my god. Unbelievable, guys. That is dramatic, to say the least. Our first game of the season in the Premier League. And we've won it in the last minute of the game. That is unbelievable. To be fair, it was a very good game stats wise but i didn't get to see anything it is time we can now go ahead and apply for a new work permit it's going to be interesting to see what happens here we can still loan him out to a club outside the premier league of course as the window is still open uh, so maybe that's what we're going to have to do but uh oh no never mind fantastic we got him he's in but now i've got to try and register him that's going to be so difficult because he is I think we, I think he makes it 26 out of 25 so he's still unregistered but he has got a work permit he can play that's that's great news wait there's more no way oh my god okay so we'll be playing either Slovan Bratislava or Torino yeah I'm rooting for Slovan that would be an easier game I thought this was it, but there is another qualifying round after this. Wow. And there it is, guys. It is done. This time, it's only 5-0 on aggregate, but we've still done very well. There, Maria gave him the start for this one. Scored two. Michelle scoring in the 78th minute. And actually, Maria had a chance to get a hat-trick in this game, but he missed a penalty, but scored in the same minute. So, somehow that happened. But there you go. We are through to the next stage. Oh, God. Phil Foden injured for a few days. But there it is. We will be playing Torino. That could be a bit of a difficult game, you know? It really could. Let's go ahead and praise Maria's performance. He did do very well. So, well done, you. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. We have Manchester United up next. And then we have Torino, Aston Villa, Torino. So, we do have some very tough games coming up, of course. Going to Old Trafford is never easy. But I'm very excited to see how we get on there. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like rating. Make sure you subscribe as well, guys. And I will see you for the next episode very soon.